Thank you, Marco. Welcome. Thank and you. my first question is uh, how did you connect with uh, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of yeah. Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yeah. Well, I, connect, connect, I connected with Robert Kiyosaki uh, back in the day. I read his book first, mm -hmm. and I was going through a personal crisis where uh, I didn't want to keep working full time and uh, under a contract for a television network. And at that time and moment, I had the experience of, uh, I, mo most of my career I've done shows that I really loved. Mm -hmm. I did Price is Right, The Family Feud, Minute to Win It, but then the network wanted me to do a show that I didn't want to do. Okay. And wanted me to work with someone I didn't want to work with. Okay. And I had no choices because, because when you're an employee, you know, you don't get to pick what you do. I mean, right. they're paying you, so it would be very unfair to mm -hmm. say, like, I'm not feeling that in my heart, you know? <laughs> like, you just, like, have to do what you have to do because yeah. you, you're getting a salary. And, uh, and I, 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 was, I had to work with this producer mm -hmm. who ended up being an amazing teacher. Oh. In, in, uh, in, in not, and not in the easy way because okay. we didn't understand each other and we didn't think alike and what he thought it was good television, I thought it was, you know, uh, sensationalist kind of mm -hmm. television. So okay. I, for the first time in my career, I was going through this stage where I didn't like showing up for work. And okay. all of my life I'd had work, I loved my work. Right. So it was a very, very new experience to me. And at that time and moment I was reading uh, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad mm -hmm. and uh, then the cash flow quadrant and then the before you quit your job and the business school and I, I just I was just reading all these books and I and I just realized I mean this is exactly what's happening to me I'm, I'm on the rat race mm -hmm. I'm not really going anywhere and I have to do whatever I like it or not I have to do what they tell me to do so that's when the entrepreneurial uh, bug got into me right and it's just like any other bug right like mm. sometimes you get the bug of cycling or golfing or <laughs> <laughs> or riding a jeep or whatever uh -huh. <laughs> I got you know. that could be a good um, workshop for the schools I, sure. I teach entrepreneurship actually this summer yeah. Cal State LA downtown so and they all want to know what what yeah. you just said well that's so what I do like that's what yeah. I, we teach them and we teach them how to we teach them how to sell we teach them how to build teams we teach them how to handle objections we teach them how to turn it no into a yes which is objection handling we teach them how to manage their emotions we teach them how to deal with a, with someone who has high emotions how to neutralize that and move forward we teach people how to sell in 30 seconds like get someone's attention in that's 30 nice. seconds okay, we call the elevator good. pitch we uh, we, we do exercises where we make them do it there. Mm -hmm. We make them face their, face. their, their fears. And, right. and the, it's, so it's a workshop, it's not me talking, it's right. really a workshop. And we've been doing this for 15 years now. We've done it for chambers of commerce, for uh, all small owners of small businesses. We've done it for universities and schools where they want to encourage the entrepreneurial spirit. We've done it for network marketing companies. Mm -hmm. We've, I'm going to do a Mary Kay, which is one of the biggest yeah, uh, direct sales companies. And right. I, I love that company. We're going to be working for them in, in Mexico uh, for thousands of people there. We've done it for Herbalife. We've done it for, for many, many, many others and uh, mm -hmm. at all levels. Because we only, now that I, cause I, I still teach the, the basics of, mm -hmm. of Robert mostly Blair Singer's stuff okay. because that's the one who gets into the sales and right. Robert teaches you the philosophy the mindset right. the mindset yeah and then Blair teaches you how to sell the practical how to build it how, how to build a team and that's right. what I teach and then since I did a, a, a master's uh, on spiritual psychology at the University of Santa Monica oh, where nice. Ariana was the speaker yeah. when I graduated actually she was the, the speaker very there. nice uh, then I incorporate all the tools of spiritual yeah. psychology because it's just basically Emotion. Uh, my next question is about the philosophy of Robert Kiyosaki, uh, which I know you have explained yeah. in an expo in 2009 in Mexico. And so I want to know what, in a few words, would be the mindset of a prosperous and entrepreneur. Person. Well, a prosperous entrepreneur is not waiting for the, I'll tell you what it doesn't do. It's not waiting for the government to solve its problems. Mm -hmm. It's not waiting for a miracle outside to happen. Mm -hmm. It's not waiting to win the lottery, mm -hmm. right? It's not waiting for a safe job. It's not waiting for savings in the bank come and rescue. It's not waiting for social security come and rescue. An entrepreneur thinks about owning his own business, being, being, having control of its business, mm -hmm. uh, becoming a professional investor because yes. you create the money in your business, but then you have yeah, to park yes. your money sometimes within your business and sometimes in other people's businesses. Right. And it's, it's called the, 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 the velocity or the speed of money, right? If uh -huh. you put it in the bank account, it gives you 
the zero, zero point something point interest rate yeah. is going very slow. Like you're, you're stuck yeah. in traffic in downtown LA, you're not yeah. going anywhere. You're losing. Yeah, <laughs> but if you're investing in silver and gold or oil mm -hmm. or, or, or solar panels or you know something else, I'm just you know giving examples, not telling anyone to invest mm -hmm. in those things, I'm just saying there's fast tracks mm -hmm. where you can make your money back and you can have a tax break, mm -hmm. legally tax break, no taxes or deferred taxes. And so the money the money just, just works. So it's learning how to, how to make money work for you. Work for you. Yeah, so that's what it is. It's owning your business, becoming a professional investor, and very importantly, using other people's resources. Meaning mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be my idea. It doesn't have to be made on my own time. It doesn't have to be my design. It doesn't have to be my brand. It doesn't have to be on my own time with my mm -hmm. own money. It's like the employee mentality is I have to do everything myself. Right. And, and an entrepreneur learns how to play. Let others do as it. As a for team. Okay. And, and an, a good entrepreneur knows how to, how to, one of the most difficult things is finding responsible people to be in your team and mm -hmm. also having them do what, they're, what they like doing right. when they're good at. Because mm -hmm. you put an amazing person doing something that is not uh, their their core mm -hmm. uh, desire, desire or it. ability. They were not born with that. Is really difficult, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you have a soccer team and you have a goalie playing, you know, trying right. to score goals. Well, no, that's not no. what you do. He wants to use his hands, right? Right. <laughs> the other ones are using their head or their feet. So, anyways, so that's that's basically what it is. Yeah, I love so it. So, Marco, tell us a little bit about your upcoming projects. I'm curious to know. Yeah, well, upcoming projects. Uh, Besides my career in television, I'm, we're going to be doing Family Feud for Univision. That's on the entertainment side. Uh -huh. But where my heart really is, is uh, I'm building my own digital business. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a podcast in Spanish on my mm -hmm. website, marcoantonioregil.com. Uh -huh. And we're getting, um, we just started uh, in, in January. And uh, we have already 1.5 million downloads in there. And we talk about uh, physical, mental, and emotional health. Mm -hmm. Because I figured that I couldn't go and visit every single city and every single school and every single company because uh, we get a lot of requests for, for, for events, but it's impossible. But now on the podcast, we're getting about you know 65,000 downloads per episode. Mm -hmm. And it's been growing and growing and, and growing. growing. And uh, it's amazing because you know if I thought about it, like, man, 65,000 downloads, that's like a like going and, and, and filling up the the New England Patriots uh, stadium mm -hmm. or, or right. something, you know. Online. Online, <laughs> yeah, online is like, you know. It is, it's, it's funny though, like, the numbers online, if you get like a thousand, two thousand people watching, you would be like, oh, that's not a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But in a conference, if you get two thousand people, that's that's super successful. So it's funny how how much, how, it's, in, it's interesting how many people we can reach. So mm -hmm. the podcast is going great and I have the plan of uh, kicking off the English speaking podcast mm -hmm. uh, in, in this year. Oh nice. I have the website already, it's called themarcoshow.com. Oh, There's nothing there yet. I like that. It's, it's, just, it's just that we, we bought the, the domain and uh, we're gonna start podcasting in, in English very soon. Uh, social media is going great, Facebook, I'm up to 2.7 million followers there and uh, and I've been just transitioning from the kind of stuff that I share. Mm -hmm. And most of the stuff I share has to do with, with personal improvement and people like it. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of Facebook Lives. It's amazing what you can reach on Facebook Lives. Mm -hmm. We had videos from 100,000 to millions of people watching. Uh, I remember I did a video uh, when Trump became president and uh -huh. I said, uh, it was called, uh, today Trump is becoming president. What am, I, what am I gonna do about it? And what I said on the video, it was me in my car and saying, you know what, I'm not gonna watch TV today yeah. because I didn't vote for him. I don't, I don't agree with his ideas and I'm going to be torturing myself and right. my mind What's listening good? to him <laughs> and listening to everything that the media is going to be telling me. I don't want to make my, my day a miserable day. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to go meditate, going to do yoga, I'm going to go, uh, oh, I, was, I was taking a course at the University of Santa Monica that day mm -hmm. and I said I'm going to have one of the best days of my life and I'm mm -hmm. inviting you to to, know, to understand that you don't have to watch the news. Mm -hmm. If you want to know what happened, you can, you can learn tonight in five minutes. Yeah. You, Everybody you, will tell you. Go to YouTube <laughs> and you'll see you know, the, 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 the synthesis, synthesis of it. And then for days we're talking about how many people and the, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. And I did that video and it had uh, close to a million people watching. So it's just amazing how many people we can reach through social media. So uh -huh. I'm really devoted to that. I'm writing my, my ebook that is going to be ready by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2018, I'm going to be publishing a physical book too, nice. my first physical book that, it, that talks about precisely how to change the your stuff mindset. in your head, you know, how to, how to, how to create happiness uh -huh. from within. It's not a new subject. Obviously, there's a lot of books that talk about that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share my story mm -hmm. on how I grew up in Mexico with a 
divorced mom that was really hardworking and the, how I became responsible for her mm -hmm. when I was very little. I became like her little husband or, or she became like, like literally my, my wife and my daughter, you know, mm -hmm. depending on the stage and what I learned from that and how I, I went from being a highly emotional person mm -hmm. to someone who is mostly, mm -hmm. I'm not perfect and I still have a lot of room to grow but how my life changed when I changed from within from and how I changed from the, you know, and, and I'll, I'll tell anecdotes of how when I was taping t television shows, I used to go ballistic with something that didn't go well and people used to fear me on the, uh -huh. in the studios. Mm. And yeah, and, and now, now the experience now is different. It's different, I'm not perfect, yeah. I'm not a saint, I'm not saying I never get in, uh, angry, but I'll share how my experience of life changed and mm. my level of happiness went up when I changed, not right. when people changed, when it's I internal. changed, it's internal. So I'm going to share that. I'll share uh, many things uh, about my path, and, and and every every chapter is going to end up with a lesson on how to change things. Mm -hmm. It's going to talk about forgiveness, Love about it. letting go of, of things that just keep us from living the happiest life we can get live. Beautiful. I'm excited for Thank that. You. I'll bite. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>